All right, let's get started. So I've got about eight, maybe eight and a half feet of just plain old silver paracord here. And the way that this works is we're just gonna build the, a basic Solomon as our base, and then we'll go back and add those, those cool barbed wire features to it. So the first thing you wanna do is take your two ends, and this one's kind of frayed, but what I like to do is just melt the ends down, and that makes it easier to get through the buckle. Put your ends together, pull all the cord through your fingers so that you can get rid of all the twisting. And this is going to give you your center point, which is right there. And we're going to take our, our buckle, and most buckles have a skinny side and then a, like a wider side here. So we're just going to go, let's see, how do I want to do this? I think I want to go... Okay, yep, we're going to take our center point here and go down through the top of the buckle. And just push it on through like this. And then open up that, that loop that your center point is at right here. Open that loop up and pull it over top of your buckle. And then pull your, your cord tight. And what that does is it locks the paracord right on one end for you. Real easy way to do a cow's hitch. All right, we're gonna flip that buckle over and then we're gonna run this paracord through the fingers again, just to get rid of all the twisting. And yeah, we're a little off on that one, that's okay. So we're just gonna take from the bottom side, we're gonna put the paracord up through the buckle. And this piece of paracord got frayed when I was melting it, so it's a little more difficult, there we go. And do the same thing with the other one. Both of them go right up through the bottom. And I'm doing this video at the store today. It's kind of a slow day, so I thought I'd do a video here at the store. I have another setup at home that I normally do the videos on. Alright, once you get your cords through, pull them through so that you have kind of a, a, basic, a basic layout of the bracelet about the size you want to do. Once you have that, go ahead and open this buckle up. As you can see, I'm using my board paracord logo buckle. And you want to lay your lay it out just like this. We'll do it this way so it fits in the frame. Um, but you want to measure from the very end of the female to the to right to what you can see on this one. You don't want to get this part of it in here, or you don't want to measure this part of it because that part of it's going to be inside of the buckle, and you're already accounting for that part of the buckle right here. So measure from this ledge to this ledge. And that should be the distance of your bra the, the length of your bracelet. Alright, so let's get this set up so that you've got your female. Well, I guess it, it would really depend on the buckle, but I have it so that the cords are coming up through the, the bottom of the buckle coming up at you. And we're just going to do a basic Solomon. Real easy to do. You've got your right working end and your left working end. You want to take your left one and create a loop on the left. And then cross that that loop over the center strands here. And I know a lot of you have already done this one, but there's a lot of people who haven't, so we're gonna just gonna take this slow right here for a second. And then once you do that, you take your right working end, you cross over your left, take it around the back, and then bring it up through that loop that you created at the very beginning. Once you do that, you're gonna pull this tight, making sure that this buckle does not move because if it moves, it's going to throw off the length of your bracelet. So after you get this nice and tight, just pull this tight, snug it right up against that buckle, you're going to want to do a second, second measurement just to make sure that your measurement's good because once we go past this point, it's going to be really hard. You'll have to undo everything to change the length of your bracelet. All right, so we had this one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here. So you can see this little piece went to the right that's the one that always is going to go over top of these two center strands so it's going to flip each side it'll be on the left one side like it did when we started now it's on the right and that one's always going to go over top and you're always going to create a loop so we're going over top taking it to the left cross that left cord over that the right one around the back and bring it up through the loop pull it tight same thing again now we're on the left side, over the top, cross over top, bring it through the loop. Super easy to do a Solomon. If you get really fast at this, you could do one of these in about five minutes. 
And this is what most people do at craft shows and art fairs and stuff that I've seen. The stuff that really sells though is the more unique stuff and that's kind of what I'm going to show you today is going to be one of the barbed wire bracelets. This one's been popping up on the Paracord on Facebook group quite a bit lately. So I thought I'd give it a shot. Now when I do my Solomons, you notice I just pushed everything up that way. That's because there was kind of a gap that I could see in there. And I like to have mine nice and clean looking. You want them to be um, nice and clean looking. So I like to do about three or four ties. Just like this. And then push everything up. You can see there's a gap, gap, gap take care of that just by holding on to your center cords and pushing up and that gets rid of those gaps a little bit well I'm gonna finish up the, the the Solomon portion of this and I'll be back to show you how I cut and singe the ends and then we'll get started on the barbed wire section okay so I'm back and I'm gonna cut one of these actually I'm gonna cut both of these off these little pieces here you just want to cut these pretty close to the bracelet, not right up, oops, I cut that one a little too close, that's okay. If you do it right, you don't have to worry about it too much, you just get a flame on there, and kind of hit it with the flame a little bit, and then use one of these, this is called a smoothing tool, this is the best tool that I have in my, para, my paracord uh, tool kit. Basically what that does, that gives you a real nice finish once it's smooth, or once it's melted. Um, Again, we're gonna, just going to seal the ends in by cutting this piece here. And that's the dual flame torch lighter. That by far is the best one that I carry. Um, I use one every day here at the store um, when, I'm, when I'm doing orders up. Actually, this is the one I do all my orders with. Some of the paint starting to come off. That's how often I use this thing. I didn't notice it until I got it under these lights. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let me. I'll be right back. I'm going to get set up with the micro cord and a micro cord fid, and I'll be back to show you how to do the uh, the barbed wire section. What I've got here is about four feet of black micro cord. Comes on a little spool like this. It's called micro ninety. Um, and then I also have a micro fid. This is made perfectly for uh, for micro cord. And I sell it three pack with a regular fid, a middle fid, and then a micro fid. And I also sell it in a two pack with two micro fids. So check those out. Another tool must have in your toolkit. All right. So what we want to do is we need to have a black piece of cord all the way down, doing kind of a wavy pattern as it goes down. So this is kind of similar to the football thing, the, the football uh, themed one that we did before. Um, we're going to start by just going to the back side of the bracelet and poking the micro cord up through to the front. And you want to bring this all the way through until you have about, I don't know, about maybe three inches out the back, just so it doesn't pull through. And then we're going to make our way, we're going to snake our way down to the other end. So what you want to do is you want to go over two, so we're going to go over two, and then under one. And I can zoom in a little bit further for this, make sure we're nice and focused. So we're going to go over these two, so one, two, under one, pull it through. This can be a little time consuming, a little tedious, but the final, the final result, I think it looks really cool. Um, and then over two, under one, just like that. I can do another one here, over two, under one. Cause I, I'm pretty sure I could probably pull pull this all through all in one. Yeah, it's pretty easy. So under two, or over two, under one. I just kind of poked my finger there, but that's okay. Over two, under one. I can still pull it through, so we're going to keep doing that. Over two, under one. And it's starting to get a little tight, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull this all through. 
it's not too tight. It's actually pretty easy. You could probably do the whole thing. You could probably go the whole length of the bracelet and be just fine. But what we will have to do is go back and give this a little bit of a wavy pattern. All right. All right, so we went under, so we're going over. Over two, under one. Under two, under one. There we go. It's kind of strange doing this at the store. Alright. And I'll go into that in just a second, but I want to get this done. Alright, we'll pull this through. Real easy to do. Okay, so now we have this. And what we need to do is make this have like a wavy pattern. So that's real easy to do. All you do is take your fid and you move it side to side. And there should be enough slack in there from when you just pulled it through. And if there's not, you can pull it through a little more um, to give it this, this little bit of a wavy pattern. Real easy to do. So there's the wavy pattern. That looks kind of cool just by itself, actually. All right. So to get this started, what we need to do is get the paracord to the back of the bracelet. And we're just going to take this down. You can really just kind of push it through until you find yourself a hole there to go through. There we go. Easy enough. I'm going to zoom this out just a little bit. There we go. Pull all that through. I had this right. I just had to figure it out in my head. Um, we're basically going to come up through this first, this first hole here. Come up through there. And you want the closest one. See how this little bridge here is the closest one to the beginning of this little dip here. You want to bring it up through that one. So once it's up through there, it's just a matter of looping around this piece of paracord four times. So we'll pull it through, and then we're going to loop around. Okay, we're going to go under again, pull it through. So all it's doing is kind of like a spiral. Get this, got a big twist going on in this cord. There we go. Alright, so yeah, we're just kind of like going around that, that piece of cord in the middle. Pull this tight. The hardest part with this is this, this cord keeps on uh, twisting. So we're just going to do this three times and then go to the next one. Just like that. And then once you have your third one, we're going to take our fid, and from the one that you just went through, you're going to go across, and you're going to go down through that bridge. See, there's a bridge right here. You want to go down through that bridge. And when you go down through a bridge, you're going to come up through the next one. So now you're going to come up through this one, right next to it. Pull everything through, and that'll be on the back side of the bracelet. You're not going to see this. And we're just going to loop this one four times. So start out by going under. Going under again. And that's a lot easier pulling it towards you than away from you. Yeah, that's a lot easier. Hopefully my battery doesn't die. It's getting pretty close. Do that one more time. Pull her on through. So there's three. And then we're, what you're going to do is you're going to come basically on a 90 degree angle straight down and go through that, that bridge. And just like the other side, you go down through one, you're going to come up through the neighbor of it. So right next door, you're going to come up through the next one. Just like that. And do your loops. So that was one. So you're going to do three of these, 
Repeat, 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 all the way down. And this was number three. See, once you get going, as long as you don't get a twist in it like I just did here. Oh, no, that was number two. We need one more. There we go. Number three. And then we go down through the bridge straight across from the barbed wire part. Alright, well I'm going to get this all the way done down. Or down all the way. And I will be back. Alright, so I'm down to the end here. Um, as you can see, I've already done the last barbed wire section here. So now I just need to get the, the cord down through the back. And I already melted this port part there, so I'm just going to poke it through right below that section. Get that pulled through. And then we have our two black sections here that are there from the very beginning. So I'm just going to snip these. And you don't want to cut these close because you want to have something to melt down so it doesn't pull through. So I'll go ahead and cut that one first. Kind of fold this backwards so that I can hit just that cord. Get it nice and melty. And before it dries, use the smoothing tool to mash it down in there. Make it nice and smooth. And you can see it kind of kind of mushroomed out so that it won't pull back through. And we'll just do the same thing with this black cord here. And the nice thing with the smoothing tool is it gives you such a nice smooth feel to it that it won't irritate your skin because this is the back side of your bracelet. It will be up against your skin. And uh, you can also see the, uh, the all gave some, some gave all. And it's kind of fitting today's Veterans Day um, that we do this one. That's kind of a missing in action slogan. I get some veterans into the store once in a while and somebody had me make him up a dog tag that had that that slogan on it and that was one that I kept around just to, to kind of show people. Alright and that one's all done. So that yeah that dog tag really reminds me of this bracelet. It's got the barbed wire in the center. Um, but yeah that's the barbed wire paracord bracelet. I have another one that's called the barbed wire and that's just paracord. It doesn't have any accents of barbed wire. So I'm not really sure what to call this one yet. But uh, I hope you like it. Real easy to do. You just need some micro cord and a micro cord fid. And you're, you'd be all set. Um, let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. And don't forget to check out the Facebook page Paracord On. It's uh, facebook.com slash groups slash Paracord On. And I'll see you in there. Until next time, Paracord On.